and welcome to my series where I talk about classical mythology while I crochet. Today we're going to talk about King Priam of Troy and the position that he found himself in with the Trojan War. So I want to start out with Paris's conception because first of all, at this time Priam already had 50 kids. You do not need another one, dude. But then when Hecuba was nearing the end of her pregnancy with Paris, she started getting these really weird dreams that she gave birth to a flaming torch and that torch lit fire to the entire city. So of course they go to a dream interpreter, an oracle of sorts, and they tell him about the dreams. He says, pretty sure that baby is going to be the ruin of the city. So throw the whole baby out. For whatever reason in Greek mythology, when there are these horrible prophecies on babies, the answer is always leave them out on a mountainside for the beasts or the elements, but it almost never works out that way because either they get raised by beasts or they get found by some random shepherd who then raises them and then they come back anyway and do the prophecy. So, I mean, if you're not going to just do it, at least raise them within your city so you know how it's going to go down. Where most people start considering his role in what happened, however, is when Paris arrived at Troy with Helen, who he had abducted from Sparta. Now, Priam, of course, had a couple choices here. He could have sent them back, could have said, she is not coming in my walls, go take her back. Or he could have potentially taken out Paris right there and then returned her himself. But if we go with the mythological origins of why Paris had Helen in the first place, it is because he was, she was a prize that he was awarded by Aphrodite. And to deny that prize, to give it back, would be sacrilegious. So by giving her back, they would be insulting Aphrodite, even though they have a bunch of ships headed their way now. Likewise, to fear war would be sacrilegious because they have walls that were built by Poseidon and Apollo, literally forged by the gods' hands. So by being fearful of a conflict with the Greeks, they are essentially saying, we do not trust these god-fortified walls. And I don't think Poseidon and Apollo would be very happy. The Trojans have so few gods on their side would not have been a good idea to be afraid of conflict in that way. I'm not going to pretend to know the history portions of this, but politically speaking, if Helen is the one with the royal lineage of Sparta and not Menelaus, he married into it, then theoretically, if they took out Menelaus and she just kept this marriage to Paris, could the Trojans have control of Sparta? That seems like a reason to not give her back to me. It's also probably not politically advantageous to let your enemy know that if they come with enough homies that you're going to chicken out and not fight them. So Priam did all of the things that he was supposed to do in war. He allowed for a parlay. He would allow for ceasefires. He also was somewhat admirative and respectful of the Greek warriors. But I think the man was just stuck between a rock and a hard place and wanted to figure out how not to offend the gods while still making sure his entire people weren't slaughtered. Kind of a hard thing to do.